Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the facial artery. It is the chief artery of the face. Uh, it is a branch of the external carotid artery given up in the carotid triangle just above the greater corner of the hyoid bone. Now, let's see the 3D anatomy. This is the 3D anatomy of the facial artery. This is facial artery. It is a branch of the external carotid artery. Now, we have stated that it is uh, given off above the greater corner of the hyoid bone. This is the hyoid bone. This is the greater corner. Now, let's study in detail about the hyoid bone. Okay, this is the hyoid bone. It has uh, three points here. The first point. This first point is the greater corner of the hyoid bone. This second point, the elongated point, is nothing but the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. This third part is the body of the hyoid bone. Now let's go back to the facial artery. So we have studied the parts. Now, now we will be able to understand. It is given off in the carotid triangle above the greater corner. This is the greater corner of the hyoid bone. This is the facial artery. It is given off uh, above the greater corner of the hyoid bone. You can see the course. Now let's study about the course of the facial artery. The facial artery enters the face by winding around the mandible and producing the deep cervical fascia. TCF is nothing but the deep cervical fascia. Now let's see the 3D part. This, this was the facial artery. Now we can see here this part. This uh, highlighted part is nothing but the superficial cervical fascia. It pierces the fascia. You can see here, it's, it is piercing the fascia here. It is piercing the fascia. Now let's go to the second point. It runs upward, forward, 1.25 cm lateral to the angle of the mouth. So this is the facial artery, winds around the mandible, run upwards, forwards, 1.5 cm away from the angle of the mouth. Now here you can see it gives uh, two branches. This branch. This branch is the superior labial branch of the facial artery. It supplies the upper lip. This part, this part, the one which is going downwards, it supplies the lower lip. This branch is nothing but the mesenteric branch. We will not study about this. We will be studying about this branch, which is the superior labial artery. After that, after that, next point is, it ascends by the side of nose up to the angle of the eye. You can see that it is ascending by the side of nose and it goes to the angle of the eye. And after that, it supplies the terminates and supplies the lacrimal sac, which is present here. Um, lacrimal sac is nothing but the part of the lacrimal apparatus. It helps in producing the tears. So this facial artery, this facial artery, Anastomosis with the dorsal, na dorsal nasal artery. This, this, that is the second point. It uh, terminates by the lacrimal sac. We have just said it. It terminates by supplying the lacrimal sac by anastomosis with the dorsal nasal branch. This is the dorsal nasal branch. This is the facial artery. This is the angular artery. So the facial artery continues with the angular artery and anastomosis with the dorsal nasal artery. This facial artery lies between superficial and deep muscles of the face. So that's the course of the facial artery. Now we'll go to the branches. So facial artery has two branches. One is the cervical branches, and the other facial branches. Cervical branches are the sending palatine, tonsillar branch, submental branch, and granular branch. The facial branches are the inferior labial, superior labial, lateral nasal, and the angular branch. Now we'll go to the 3D anatomy. First we'll see the facial part. This is the superior labial branch of the facial part of the facial artery. This lower part, lower part is the inferior labial branch of the facial artery. Coming to the third artery which is the lateral nasal branch of the facial. This one, this part is the lateral nasal branch of the facial artery. And after that is the angular this one this part is the angular artery it anastomoses with the dorsal nasal artery so that were the facial 
part facial branches of the facial artery now we'll go to the uh, cervical branches the cervical branches of the facial artery this part this part is the ascending palatine artery as you go down this part this artery is the submental artery you can see a small branch here coming from the facial artery this is the granular branches of the facial artery okay, uh, the tonsillar branch is not seen here now we will see the image of the tonsillar branch so this one this artery this artery is the tonsillar branch of the facial artery so that was the branches cervical branches and the facial branches of the facial artery and the last point is this artery is also called as anesthesia artery why because this artery can be palpated at the anterior inferior angle of the masseter muscle so palpation palpation is nothing but examining the artery by touching it so this is the reason it is called as anesthesia artery now see the, we'll see the 3d anatomy this is the masseteric branch of the facial artery now let me bring back the muscles so this is the masseter muscle so we can see the facial artery is uh, here facial artery is palpated uh, palpated here at the anterior inferior angle of the masseter muscle palpation is nothing but examining the artery by touching it that's all for today meet you in the next video